Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from Masterbox. This is a kit which is molded in 135 scale, it copies US paratroopers from 1944 and we have a commercial sample here so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you'll see in this video review so we are going to open it together and check what is actually supplied in this box and why it should be interesting for a World War II diorama. So, first of all, packaging is standard for this kit, it's a kit number 35219, here you can see this number, and here is the comparison with my hand, it's a standard size for a master box kit. We also have really nice box art here, which actually hints what you can expect inside, you will get exactly these figures, I guess there will be three figures, it's also written here. And on this side we have some safety information, they are provided in three languages, so here uh, we have three and here we have also two additional languages. And on the opposite side you'll find the uh, assembly manual and also parts mapped together with the colors chart which is limited to Vallejo paint numbers. This is really surprising why they decided to shorten it only to the Vallejo paint codes. And also interesting that we do not have a color printed paint guide here. I wonder why it was decided to do this Think. We will see it further in the video review. This is a side opening box and I'm going to open it right now and we will check together what is supplied in this nice box. In the meantime let me remind you that you can support us financially. We have a special donate or support DSV button on the website. There is also a link in the video description which will direct you to the same PayPal branch and you will be able to choose how much you are um, let's say ready to donate. All this money will be used for new photo and video equipment and also for some interesting kits which will be reviewed in this photo and video reviews. So here we have first grey plastic sprue, let's zoom in. And you can notice that we have various equipment items and I would say it's more or less standard uh, set of items for this manufacturer, so I suggest we start from this subframe, I would call it. So here we have various sacks and also we have helmets, and again it will be interesting to see if helmets are detailed inside, and there are, so that's really cool. And by the way, these bags should be glued out of two parts, you saw that there are guiding elements, so it will be easy to align them together, and the only thing required from you is to carefully paint it. And note that the daggers are molded separately from their, let's say, um, I'm just trying to understand if it is possible to insert it. Obviously no, because you have to cut off the top of the handle and then just glue it to this part. I'll show it closer so that you understand what I'm talking about. Here are these parts, so be ready for that. Next we continue with another versions of the helmets, as you can see there is also a camouflage net on them and of course they are also detailed inside, I can show it by flipping this sprue, here you can see them. Next we continue with shovels and they are depicted here in a pouch, note that some handles are slightly bent but it's easy to fix, it's not such a huge issue and maybe it is because these sprues arrived to me in a really rough uh, box. Uh, thanks to our post, so I guess maybe that's the reason. And next we continue with pistols, so pistols are also mm, supplied in two versions and two bags here, that's pretty much all we get on this sprue, but overall molding quality again, I will repeat it, looks really nice, so it's just a matter of careful painting and weathering and you'll be good to go. Next we continue with another plastic sprue, so this one is dedicated to figures and as you remember we have three figures here, so that's why we have this section completely dedicated to one figure, this one is to the second and this one to the third, and I suggest we start with this one, so let's zoom in as much as we can. So here you can see standard parts division for a 135 scale, it means separate legs, hands and torso. Uh, torso is a one piece part by the way, and note that also we have separate head. From what I can see, well it's helmet, it's not head, but still it will be easier to paint, and maybe I can also show this head 
closer so maybe camera will focus yes now you should be able to see that facial features look really nice and again it's just a matter of careful painting and weathering and you have a really beautiful result next we continue with another figure so here we have pretty much the same design and of course poses are predefined so you won't be able to change much here and again we have separate helmet so I guess all the helmets we saw on the previous sprue, they can go into your spare parts. Obviously you want to use all the items from the previous sprue, so definitely some of them will go into your spare parts box. And here we continue with another uh, set of parts for a figure. Here we have this guy with a rifle. And rifle is molded as a single piece part. Maybe again I can bring it even closer so that you can see what we have here. Yes, camera now focus. So here we have two attachment points. You have to be careful in this area in order not to break the barrel. But other than that, I do not see any possible issue. And of course, that's really cool that this part is molded as a single piece part. And again, we have a separate helmet and one piece head. Maybe I'll show head closer as well. So here it is. Let's focus the camera, yeah, now you should be able to see. So the facial features that some of you wrote in the comment sections, uh, Masterbox is one of the best when it comes to the faces in plastic figures and this kit only proves this theory. I really like what we have here and the same applies to the uniform and clothes. As you can see all these wrinkles look more or less natural. Yes, poses are predefined and there are no alternative options, but you can play with paint and weathering, maybe some shading in order to get even more impressive result. Another thing which should be noted is that inside we do not have any guiding elements. So if you would like to have a really nice uh, finish on your figure, you will have to check the alignment between these parts, maybe also to keep track of the possible gaps. And other than that, I do not see any possible issue. By the way, quite interesting thing is that these helmets, in contrary to what we saw on the first sprue, they are molded with a part of head. As you can see, head is slightly, let's say, cut off the top section so that it will look natural when you place this helmet in place. Uh, place in place. But that should give you idea that you will have to use these helmets unless you will find a way in order to prolong this head and use the helmets from the different sprue. And by the way, even the size is slightly different. So here you can see uh, comparison in the size. Maybe I'll place it just like this so that you can just understand. Here we have one type, here is the second one. So these ones are definitely smaller and that's why you will have to work with what you get on this frame. But overall, I really like what is supplied in this box and kit should be already available so you can get it for example in Madelimex I think they have it already available for purchase of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about this release here in the comment section below if you like this video don't forget to press the like button also subscribe to our youtube channel and I will see you in the next video review as usual thank you for joining me today and bye